We are now live. Little chit chat. What's up, social world? Get that mundo social, Mr. Mom here. The little video. Just a little normal chat. We'll see who jumps on. And talk about the yard sale coming up. Um, yeah, yard sale coming up. Uh, it's a community yard sale, block yard sale. One of the neighbors organizes it. He says he pays for the for the advertisement. I don't know where he pays for the advertisement. But yeah. Quite a bit of traffic today. I'm trying to get out there, make some money, some quick money. This traffic is making it take forever to get over there. But anyway. So yeah, I got a yard sale, community yard sale, block yard sale coming up. It's the 23rd annual. And uh, I want to kill it this time. Two years ago, I, I made about 360 to 380 on that one day. And then last year was about 180, so it was a pretty big drop. But that's because of the heat. The day that they chose, the year before, was, um, oh, I can't remember, I think it was September. And last year, I think it was in August. This year looks like it's in July. That makes it more difficult um, because of the heat. But 150 is nothing to laugh about. Uh, what I am going to do this year, though, is last year, actually, last couple years, I would take out all the stuff that I have on uh, on eBay. Hi, uh, SR Thrower. So the last couple of years, I would take out stuff that I had on eBay and put it in the yard sale also. At the end of the day, I'd be totally tired and just pack everything up and mix everything in. And then it becomes difficult to find stuff. So I have plenty of inventory that is not listed on eBay. So all of that stuff is going to go out into the block yard sale. Plenty of clothes, plenty of books. Toys. I got a bunch of new stuff that I found that I put on uh, Instagram TV, whatever you call that. I'm going to try to sell as much as possible just for a dollar, just to get rid of it, because I have way too much stuff. Just way too much stuff, and I need to get rid of stuff and concentrate on stuff that will actually give me money on, online. And if it's not going to, it's not very valuable, get rid of it for, for a buck. I have a half a dozen VCRs and probably another half a dozen DVD players and stuff like that. I really don't want to be shipping them out, so I'll sell those on the, on there for sure. This traffic's still kicking my butt. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a, a clear, clear out kind of a thing. And I haven't posted my finds for the last three, four weeks, but I'll, I'll start posting them all. I still have them all recorded. And what I want to do is, because I found, like two weeks ago, I found a spin wheel. So I want to make a free spin with every purchase. And depending on the value of the purchase, the prices will go up. Most of the stuff that I'm going to give away, I found for free anyway. So, again, it'll just help me get rid of stuff and make sales of other stuff. Oh, I, I love the After Dark finds too. And what, I, what I've done more, more recently is I actually kind of talk in them a little bit. Before I didn't talk, because I didn't want, like, the people... I was, like, afraid for whatever reason. 
Like they're gonna come out, hey, what are you doing out there? But they're putting out the stuff for free. And I've actually spoken to a few of them now and they're like, oh yeah, take it. Take it, take it, take it, please take it. So, by all means, you know. And usually that stuff that I find once I list it, and if I, it's, they're usually all long tail stuff, but it, it's free 99 and then it makes up the difference later on for slow days and stuff like that. So it, it, it helps income wise. I sold one, uh, another, what was it, a Commodore 64 floppy disk game for. Fourteen ninety nine, and again, that's was was free. So I got a, still a bunch of software I got to list. But yeah, this uh, the community yard sales next month, so I have a month to prepare. Yeah, I do want to focus on on higher ROI. Uh, Regardless, my ROI, for the most part, is like 100% anyway, because most of the stuff that I sell is free anyway. Uh, but sales are slow for everybody. My sales are slow. My rolling 60-day right now is like $600. So my rolling 60-day, so that kind of tells you, you know, it's not... I'm not making huge amount of sales, but... Um, there was a little time that I was making daily sales, one or two items, then all of a sudden it stopped. Now it's one every two days, I'd say. But again, it's, it's, it's decent free stuff. Um, cheap stuff that I get from estate sales is not bad also. But I have a few garbage bags full of just clothes from the from my kids when they were younger a couple of bags from my daughter from she's teenage years and I just need to get rid of it and I just don't want to it's it's that FOMO we all talk about the FOMO the fear of missing out but my house is more like a storage unit than a, than a house and it's getting really annoying my daughter hates it, but at the same time, she knows that's how I make money, so she doesn't complain too much, but right now, it is getting overwhelming. I don't have a living room. I don't even have a couch or a chair or anything in the living room. It all has stuff in it. Um, so I got to focus on, on getting rid of this stuff, and I'm going to do... Uh, Like I said, I found a, a spin wheel the other day. I haven't posted that yet. I'll post it in the next couple days here. But I found a spin wheel, and I'm going to use that spin wheel to entice people to, to buy stuff. And, uh, you know, a dollar or two, you'll win a pencil or a piece of candy. Three to four dollars. I found, I found about 30 little magnet photo frames that, like, go on the on the uh, refrigerator so I'll add those in to as a prize five to ten dollars I'll, I'll give away something that's worth like five dollars ten to twenty five I'll give something away that's worth ten dollars uh, and twenty five or more I want to I want to put a couple of big prizes for the spin wheel and just hope that that really kicks in like you know twenty five dollar prize maybe it'll be a, VC, a VCR you know a, a DVD player just to entice people to, to, to buy more stuff. Um, I've, I've done decent on them in the past couple years, but I really want to make some good money. I'd really like to reach like 500. Um, but it's going to be difficult being that it's going to be a hot month. Uh, the first year, you know, I put out a bunch of big stuff that I found. I sold a, a mini fridge for $45 that I found. I just had to clean it up and they were happy. The guy thought he got it for a steal. He was totally happy. Uh, 
some shoe racks and stuff like that. But I'm trying to stay away from, from big stuff. But I got a lot of small stuff now. So I want to use that opportunity. And last, last year, I even advertised like crazy last year because... The sponsors, and I, I did put it on my on my story on my uh, on my regular Instagram. There's a family that that sponsors it every year. They say they pay for the advertising. I don't know where they do it, but I went on and I you know I advertised it on Craigslist on Facebook because I looked for it and I couldn't find it anywhere. So I went ahead and doubled up on it, tripled up on it. But still, it was it was hot. It takes a lot out of you when it's like upper 80s lower 90s and you're just out there in the sun but uh, but this will be a testing ground to do uh, sales in the future there is a there is during the summer uh, there's this auto show slash flea market I guess you could say and they'll do it at the county fairgrounds and they'll have buildings inside. And I think they charge like $15, $20 for a spot inside. I've done that in the past. Did okay. It made 100 bucks in a day. Uh, but if I add this spin wheel to it... Bye! If I add the spin wheel to it, I'll attract more people. And I did it a couple times. It's still kind of hot, but it's not extremely hot. And they do one of these days, one of the one of the times, or once a year, they do the SR. They do the they do the car show slash toy show. So you get people selling toy stuff, and I got plenty of toys to sell. So, uh, but again, the spin wheel will add to it. So I think I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. Just to get people to come. Now this is something I've done. How ethical it is, that's up to you to decide. But I've put fake uh, fake estate sales Last year I did that but anyway. I put a fake estate sale with the with the address right in the middle of the bro, of the of the block yard sale, the multifamily yard sale, and uh, that actually got a few more people to come in. <laughs> and I just they're supposed to be a uh, supposed to be an estate sale around here. Do you know which one's the estate sale? Oh no, I I don't, I don't know. <laughs> it was hilarious to me. I was giggling inside, but I did get him to come. I'm gonna do the same thing uh, this year. And uh, last year I didn't even post pictures of, of stuff. I'm gonna post pictures of of, uh, of stuff. And basically, what I'm gonna do is gonna go to just look for estate sales online. And I'm gonna copy their pictures from like out of state or whatever, and then I'll post it as a yard sale there. On, I'll post it as a state sale local. Also, anybody in the area, what I'm, what I'm gonna do too is if I see any houses for sale within like a 10 block radius, I am gonna send an email to those realtors or real estate agents that they should think about doing an open house uh, on that on those days uh, because of the increased traffic in the immediate area and ask them that they use this block sale as an example of the community stuff that the community does you know fun stuff that the community does they can use it as a, as a selling point and then hopefully they'll mention it and then we get more people coming uh, to the area for um, sales and hopefully that helps increase it hey Emily just talking about a yearly yard sale that's coming up that um, that my blo the block that I live on they have a yearly uh, block sale and I'm right on the corner of it so I have this huge area that I uh, usually set up 
I've done it in the past, and uh, and so I was just talking about how I'm going to advertise it on Craigslist, on OfferUp, on Facebook Marketplace. I'm just going to advertise it all over the place. Um, and then hopefully by telling, you know, real estate agents in the area who are selling a house, if they do an open house that day, then of course that'll hopefully attract more people to the area. And, uh, Hey, Vic Mary. And uh, so, yeah, with the... Uh, and then I was thinking of sending... Uh, if I have time, at nighttime, I'll probably do this. To local businesses, if I can find their emails or their Facebooks, I'm going to send it to them. I'll send them the notice also. But mostly to the realtors should be pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to have a... a, a uh, we have an annual yard sale, a block yard sale, that's coming up next month. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm planning on taking advantage of that. Oh, Disney's not until August, the beginning of August. She's taking the beginning of August. So hopefully, with this block sale coming up, which is mid July. sailing yeah I want to go sailing too uh, that would be fun uh, hopefully I make enough sales to just really get some treats going on at Disney but um, <laughs> finally the the traffic lightened up finally it was horrible traffic earlier but yeah so I a couple of years ago, I, so I did the the yard sale, the yearly yard sale, last two years. The first year I did like 380, but it was more like in September. The heat had gone down. Last year they did it, I want to say August, and I only did about 180. And this time it's July, which it should be pretty hot. But I'm gonna try to use all the tips and tricks like tips and tricks I can. And I'm gonna have a spin wheel for prizes. You get a spin with every purchase. And hope everybody loves spin wheels. And I'm gonna have different categories. You know, a buck or two, I'll put in, you know, a little rinky dinky piece of candy or whatever. Three to four, five to ten, ten to twenty-five, and twenty-five and above. I'll have different categories for winning prizes. And uh, and just try to cl clear house, you know. I got I got way too much clothes from when my kids were young all the way to my daughter being a teenager. I want to sell a lot of that stuff just for a dollar, just to get rid of it, because it's probably not gonna. I've had my daughter go through her stuff and tell me, you know, what is what she thinks is valuable, and we have that separated to the side. But the rest of it, just I just need to get rid of it. I need some room in the house. House is becoming an overpopulated, uh, overpopulated warehouse at this point. Yeah, I love the Dole Whip. We first discovered the Dole Whip. Uh, first discovered the Dole Whip at uh, at Disney World, uh, and they had two special places for it. Now, now you know, it's like five years later. Now it's more easily found. They have it at, at different parks now. Uh, they have it at Disney. They have it at Magic Mountain. I'm pretty sure my daughter said they have it in, at the, in San Diego also. Uh, but back in the day, oh man, that was like the best thing I'd ever, ever had. Drive on down, Emily. <laughs> That'd be quite a drive. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm just going to try to use all everything I know to try to get more people to come to the the yard sale because being in mid-july that's that's gonna be hot and don't even get a lot of neighbors to uh, to come out and do it too usually it's very few 
Yeah, I, w- I, I was lucky enough for Disney World. Um, that was a gift from my daughter's quinceanera that I did like a year and a half later from it. But I, the two of us went to Disney World uh, and that was my gift to her. I offered her uh, to go to, uh, to to Europe or Disney World or Hawaii and she chose Disney World and boy, was it fun. Uh, actually, I was thinking of the cold waters as a prize on the wheel for people to just spend a buck or two because, you know, the Kirkland waters, the Kirkland waters are, are come out to be like 10 cents, 15 cents maybe. Uh, so that's what I was thinking of offering is the, the water is a prize. Uh, piece of candy, you know, as a prize. Um, I have some uh, Kmart credit. I have $20 on one account, $40 on another account, and uh, the $40 account, I'm probably going to buy a bunch of... I need bowls for the house. But anyway, the $20, I'm probably going to get just a little rinky dinky lollipops or, or candy like that. I do have some candy at the house already, but I'm just going to buy some more. Uh... You know those uh, bulk bags of, of candy and pencils or and stickers. You know, like little sheets of stickers and tattoos or whatever. Uh, and with twenty bucks should be should be enough. Yeah, there's just a few of them now. The one in my in my in my city uh, closed, and not even realized they they closed. Um, because a couple of years, and the next little town over, this dog is hilarious. Little dog, he's sticking his, his nose out. It was so funny. Yeah, right there. There you go. <laughs> he's so cute. Um, I went to a Kmart that closed in the next town over and just cleaned up. And purchased a whole bunch of stuff. Um, there's one sort of on the way, like with a little bit of a detour on the way to where I like to go drive. And then there's another one. Again, kind of a detour. But I can get to two of them. Um, I'm sure those will, those will go too. Burlington, Washington. Yeah, there's not that, that many, many around. Yeah, such a cute dog. Um, so yeah, cold water, some candy. I was thinking chocolate bars in the cooler uh, or something like that. But I also have uh, the stuff that I found. I'll give. A, I'll put books for free. You know, book as a prize, a piece of clothing as a prize. Uh, and then maybe just double up on stuff like that as prizes you know like you spend five dollars you can win two books Uh, stuff stuff like that and uh, and hopefully that will attract more more sales that way because again who doesn't love a spin wheel You you see a spin wheel Hey, Kristen, you see a spin wheel and everybody wants to go towards the spin wheel. Everybody loves a spin wheel. I mean, at least I do. Almost no matter what the spin wheel is, I almost always go for it. Unless it's those travel agencies uh, because you know they're trying to sell you. Bye, Emily. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to try, I'm going to start separating out Stuff that I want to sell at the yards at the community yard sale. I have a community yard sale coming up um, next month, and I'm going to use a spin wheel to attract more people to, to come buy stuff from me. So I'll do. Jeez. Um. Yeah. It's a nice one. I'll, I got to post the stories of stuff that I found in the last three weeks. I haven't posted anything. I was trying to. I saw that there was a feature that you can go live 
that you could go live and that you could share pictures and videos while you're on your live but apparently I don't have that feature and I don't know if maybe because I don't have enough followers uh, but I wanted to do like share them and do commentary while I was sharing them but I don't have that, that feature uh, but I'll get it later on I guess but I'm gonna I'll post stuff I found a spin wheel a couple couple of weekends ago um, and I found a, I found a little uh, Tupper box with the, like 30 or 40 little um, picture magnet uh, frames the ones the little little ones are like an inch by an inch that like you put on your fr on your fridge so and they they actually say a dollar on them I don't know who gives just you know again I find crazy stuff people throw away the craziest stuff they throw away good stuff and so yeah I'm gonna put that as a as a as a prize as well I have some pencils I'm probably gonna buy some more colorful colorful pencils with my credit that I have from Kmart so it's not gonna cost me anything anyway and just get get people to, to stop at my st at my spot I, and I was thinking I need to do it maybe a little bit more a little bit more generic as far as so I've always gotten compliments on my yard sales because um, I try to set it up as best as I can I go really I, I live on a corner so I use this huge corner there's videos in the past you'd have to go to a back back a year and see what I, I did I posted them on, on Instagram and stuff like that um, but um, people are like oh wow this is amazing and they'll ask me is this th is this an estate sale and um, or they'll say this is very organized and they're like oh wow this is like a store and um, but I think that kind of scares people a little bit also so I just want to do a little bit more generically um, but I am gonna put stickers on certain things but I'm not gonna put a price on them I'm gonna make them like you know a B C on the stickers and what that's gonna mean is uh, prizes so like if somebody buys $25 worth of stuff I'll let them spin the wheel and the little grand prize would be like you could win like a, a DVD or a VCR you know something like that um, so yeah I'm telling you guys but I'm also working all this stuff out in my head right now at the same time and if you're watching this later give me some ideas please I appreciate some 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 ideas on that but I have tons of books tons of clothing that I'm just gonna all sell for a dollar and I have probably 40 to 50 items that I found brand new like a month ago a bunch of little items that are new and again I'm just gonna sell them for a dollar just just to get rid of it because I could post them on eBay but they're probably worth like three to five dollars on eBay I have I, I have a spin wheel. I, I found it already. I literally found a spin wheel already. I just haven't shared on Instagram. I have it saved. I haven't I just haven't uh, I just haven't uh, posted it yet. But I was driving uh, and I saw this thing about I saw this thing. I was like, is that a spin wheel? And I I was in the middle of a delivery. And uh, and sure enough, I went back and it was a spin wheel. So I have I have a spin wheel, and um, so I'm just going to use that. Um, it's a little a little darkish, so I'm not sure if I need a if I should paint it, a di you know, different colors. But we'll see if I have time. I did find paint like a couple months ago. I'm <laughs> so excited about the box. Um, Kristen, I would totally get reseller boxes, but I have way too much stuff, and I find way too much stuff, and I don't know clothing, uh, uh, but, so, for now, I have to stay away from stuff like that. I'm actually trying to control myself from not buying anything, and I'm actually trying to control myself from not finding anything, but it's hard when it's just there, you know? The stuff is just out there, I'm like, I can't, I cannot not stop and get it. Oh, I found a collection of stamps of, uh, of rubber stamps um, the other day. I gotta put again. I gotta post all these things. 
those I'm gonna take my time to research because they look older, but they look in good condition. And I know some older rubber stamps can sell, so that was pretty, pretty, uh, that was pretty cool find also. Uh, I have like a, a stack of National Geographic magazines that I'm just gonna sell for, for a dollar, and then I have probably 20 or something craft magazines. Again, just, I'm just a dollar, dollar, you know, just try to get rid of it as best as I can. And then I'll put them as prizes too, you know, book or magazine, uh, piece of, a piece of clothing, or book, ma book or magazine or piece of clothing as a prize, you know, just to try to get rid of get rid of stuff. Kristen, how was your yard sale at the end of the day? Did you guys do okay? Mine is next month, which is in the middle of the heat, and it's going to be tough. That's why I'm trying to come up with gimmicks, basically, to to make it work. A thousand dollars. That's amazing. That is so amazing. Oh, Vic Mary, why can't you source for a couple weeks? Man, I wish I could do a thousand dollars. I would be so ecstatic if I did a thousand dollars. This time I'm shooting for 500. The most I've done in the last couple of years was like 380 two years ago, and it was better, better weather, weather. And last year, which was in the heat, was uh, only like 180. I'm even considering of trying to do that block sale, try to encourage people to do a second one like a, like in September and call it the annual yard sale part two or something like that because it's just, it's too hot in July. Way too hot in July. You know, it's gonna be 90s in, in July and that's gonna be very hot. Oh, gotcha, the, the girls for two weeks, yeah. Sounds good, um, Kristen, I appreciate that. That sounds really good. Yeah, a thousand is so freaking awesome. But I'll, I'll, I don't know where they advertise the people who sponsor. They say they pay for advertising, but last year when I looked, actually the last couple of years I looked, they didn't post, post it on Craigslist, so I did. They didn't post it on Facebook Marketplace, so I did. They didn't post it, post it on OfferUp, so I did. You know, I ended up posting it all over the place to get more people to come. Uh, and if you go back later and listen to the to the beginning part, there's another trick that, eh, it's kind of. Kind of iffy trick, but it works. It worked last year, but still, the, the the heat gets people not to come come out. That's that's the problem. Is the heat it's just way too hot? I think last year it was like ninety eight, and uh, and the other problem with it is it, it because of the heat, it just takes a lot out of you. You just feel so tired and and wasted. Um, that the next day I, I couldn't I couldn't work because I was so debilitated. My daughter already told me she can't she probably not she probably is not going to have that day off because she's requested uh, she requested you know uh, Father's Day off she requested my birthday off she's already requested uh, days off for August for Disney. Um, she's like I I don't I don't think I'll be able to help you. And what I need to do that between now and then is I need to find little like half boxes. I gotta go to Costco. And I wanna see if I can find some uh, fruit boxes. You know, those half, not even a half, they're like the quarter size open boxes. So I can just put stuff in it and just stack up all the boxes. Cause what I usually do, and I've shared this in the past, is, uh, the days coming to the yard sale, I set up a whole bunch of tables inside the house. And then when it's time for the yard sale, 
my daughter just helps me pull out all these tables outside and bam you know almost all, almost the whole yard sales is set up in like five minutes so you, when you when you get those those uh, early birds they have a lot to look at right away and you kind of buy yourself some time when they already have like what do I set up like half a dozen tables right off the bat just boom um, but this year she told me she probably uh, is gonna have to work so but she doesn't know yet will it be morning or, or evening uh, and what she does she does it in the morning time she will help me take out the tables really quick but I, what I want to do is I want to get a bunch of like like you know like strawberry boxes the cardboard boxes you know not too not too tall not too thick not too wide and just set up all the stuff and then that way I'll be pre-set up to go to other places like you know to flea markets and stuff like that and just everything is ready and set to go so anyway that's that's what I'm thinking so far And I'm gonna not mix any of my eBay stuff, like I said, because that makes it difficult to find inventory later on. Yeah, local market. Yep, yeah. yep, yep. So anyway, those those are the, the ideas for for that. I found a couple little small trinkets last night nothing big they're just going to be used as get as uh, prizes for for the yard sale um, I missed the penny saver you guys remember the, the penny saver or do you know what the penny saver is some some other places was like the dollar saver the dollar magazine but the penny saver was great we used to be able to post on there, and that was, a lot of people like going to going to it, which is interesting enough because so many people say that they miss it, but then it didn't become a viable business because nobody would uh, nobody would uh, you know, or the advertising the advertising basically is what killed it. Nobody would advertise on it too much anymore. But everybody did love the penny saver. I still have a couple of penny savers from when I advertised in it myself uh, back when I was an insurance agent so many years ago. And I still have them, you know, just for mementos. Uh, in fact, I was thinking, why the hell do I have these things? But anyway, I still have them. And I thought penny saver was going to do like online, but they, they didn't. Well, they had online, but it was... It was crappier than, than Craigslist. It was pretty bad. Um, Craigslist probably should have bought them and changed their name to it or something like that. Because Craigslist is dying now too, but still. Oh, you still have something like that? Oh, that's amazing. Anyway, I'm coming to my start point where I usually start. Good night, guys. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll share. Definitely will share. Good night, you two. Well, for me, it's pretty sunny out, but for you guys, it's three hours later. So, anyway, talk to you on the next one.